Hey y'all, just some Wakaya catfish. If I look sleepy right now, it's because I am. It's early in the morning, but you know what? If we can hook into a big fish today, that'll wake me up real fast. Now today, I'm out here on Tennessee River and I'm gonna be doing some dragging. I'm gonna start out this morning fishing in a creek. I'm probably gonna spend my first hour out here this morning just dragging some baits through it. We'll see how it goes. And then you know, if I'm catching some fish back there, we'll keep doing it. If not, I'll move out here to the main channel and we'll come up with a different plan. Now, my setup for today is the same setup you've seen in my other videos as far as dragging goes. I'm only gonna be fishing two rods today, just dragging two baits off the back. I won't be suspending two baits off the front today. But my setup here, I've got my dragging sinkers, the 30 inch long dragging sinkers you've seen on a three way down to a leader. Got my chain swivel here to help with line twist down to a float and rattle. And finally a hook with white bass. We'll be using white bass for bait today. I'll have a headpiece on one rod and a body chunk on the other. And like I said, we just gonna cover as much water as I can this morning and try to find some fish. I don't, I don't really, I haven't fished this section of the river in a while, so I don't know, I don't really know what's going on here. So that's why I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna hit this creek first and kinda, it's, it's a pretty deep creek. You know, I'm out here you know, 40 plus feet here at the mouth of it. And I'll work my way all the way to the back of it real shallow and we'll see if we can find some fish somewhere somewhere in that range from say 15 feet down to 40 feet and then now that's how, how I'll kind of judge how I spend the rest of my day if I'm catching fish maybe out here at the mouth of it but not toward the back then I know I need to come on out here to the main channel and fish some deeper areas if I'm getting some fish up shallower then I know okay well maybe these fish are a little bit more active I can spend my time, you know, working that area, but the uh, only way to only way to find out is to put baits in the water and get moving and get to it. So let's do just that. Fish on, fish on, but he, he nailed it, didn't he? They hit it hard when you're dragging, man. You pull this bait by them and they pop it. Coming at me too. on the that white bass head on this one I dragged into this creek didn't get a single bite I turned around and coming back at him in 28 feet right now sometimes sometimes when I'm doing this I like to go in a creek and back out because it's weird but sometimes you'll take a bait by these fish going one direction they won't touch it you come going the other direction they'll nail it I don't know why that is, but that's why I generally when I fish a creek like this, I like to go in and out of it. There we go, y'all. Not too bad, man. <laughs> Not too bad. He hit it hard, didn't he? I mean, he just... That's a fun thing about dragging. When they hit it, like I said, man, they just... They pop it. <laughs> All right. Well, let's let him go and get back to it. Hit the head again. A lot of times it's hard to catch up with these fish because they'll start swimming at the kayak. And of course, the kayak gets spun around and starts going back toward the fish anyway. Uh, cover all that ground. It's another one just, you know, going this direction of the creek. Like I said earlier, I trolled into this creek didn't get a single peck coming out of this creek. It's the second fish now, and this feels like a pretty good fish. Oh yeah, he's taking some drag. Oh yeah, this is a great fish right here. This is a good one. Wish I had that other camera working right now. The dang battery's dead. And I can't charge it off that uh, battery pack for some reason. It's, it's not on. So we're going one camera today, but this is a that's a good fish right here, y'all. That's a good one. Just taking my time with him here, because I mean I do it no matter what technique I'm using, I take my time because I mean I'm in a kayak, I got no net. 
I can't bring a fish that's still full of energy right in my lap. This <laughs> is a good fish. <laughs> Fishing's been a struggle for me lately, you know, just getting any kind of consistency at all, and it's been hard for me to find bigger fish here recently. I mean, heck, you've seen it in my videos. I just ain't been pulling in the big ones, and we got us one here today. Look at that, guys. Look at that right there. Buddy, that's a tank. That's a good one. <laughs> get this hook out of him. We'll hold him up here and get some pictures. Here we go, guys. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's what I was hoping to find today. You know, dragon baits, it's not a it's not a numbers game. Not when you fishing with only two rods. I'm not gonna come out here and have a 20, 30 fish day. But this right here is the kind of fish that you can get while you're dragging. It's just a it's a big fish technique. <laughs> Look at that man. Oh yeah. What an awesome fish, man. All right, let's do what we do on big fish. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. He's gone. <laughs> fish. There's a fish. That one hit the body chunk. It's the first action we've got on that body chunk of white bass. I ain't even had no fish pecking at it. I've had some smaller fish pecking at that head, uh, head piece, as I've made my way, you know, along out of this creek here, but nothing's touched the body chunk before this one. Well, guys, I got us a channel cat here. <laughs> that is not what we after. So that's the only action I've gotten on the body piece of the white bass thus far, and it's a wrong species. <laughs> that's all right, though. He's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fish on him. I hit that dang electric motor lever all the time by accident. Let's get him in here. Catch up with him. He's coming at me. He took that rod over and then turned and changed course and come at me. I've just, I've come out of this creek and worked my way out here in the main channel, this creek. You know, this area, this is a reservoir that I'm fishing here on the Tennessee River and, and uh, you know, that creek flowed down into the old river channel at some point in time. So I've just continued following that old creek channel out toward the main river channel. We hooked into this one. This one hit that body chunk of the white bass. All right, guys, there he is. Another one, you know, not too bad. Not bad quality at all. <laughs> like I said, I'm just, you know, following this old creek channel down into the, to the riverbed. All right, let's let him go. I want to get back to it. be glad when the water gets just cold enough that those idiots won't be out here anymore. I got a bunch of cuss words inside me. They brewing up. I mean, I can feel my innards just about to spontaneously combust right now, but I'm going to hold it in because we're G-rated on this channel and we're going to keep it that way. Even though what I'm feeling inside isn't G-rated. Go. Go. Listen to the drag. Listen to that drag, man. He took off, didn't he? I made my way across the channel. I'm coming over here 
fishing a different creek right now. Right here, really at the mouth of it. This fish is coming right at me. 45 foot of water right now. I would planned to fish my way, just, just pull baits all the way across the channel over here. But, you know, the jet skiers and the few pleasure boats that's been out this morning, I said, you know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna make my way across the channel out here. Not on this section of the river, so I just reeled up my lines and sped up and come on over here. Dropped them down again. So that's another decent fish right there, y'all. That's another decent fish. There we go, guys. There's just another one, not bad, man. We've got some pretty decent quality, and that's one of the big things I like about dragon baits is you often get pretty good quality fish. Like I said, the numbers aren't there with this technique, not with not with just two rods. Now, if you've got planer boards, and you're able to pull them and pull several baits dragging, well, that's a different story, but you know, I'm not able to really do that in this kayak, so I'm pretty much limited to two rods, but you still get some decent fish. <laughs> I love catching these things, man. Never gets old. See you, buddy. Oops. Pitlin on my phone and the fish hit. <laughs> hear me or not, lawnmower man's over there, making my audio difficult to pick up on there. Man, this fish is towing me backwards. I was going a half a mile an hour that way, now I'm going 1.2 miles an hour this way. the phone soaking wet, didn't you? <laughs> you are. You quit that. You're being a little jerk right now. That is uncalled for. All these fish I've caught today, and you're the first one to get me soaking wet. Boy, that one right there, buddy. Got me soaking wet right here at the side of the kayak. <laughs> he is an ornery thing. But he was a fun fight though, man. He he was pulling me, buddy. This I was going half a mile an hour down this creek and he had me spun and going the other direction fast. <laughs> Alright, get on out of here. You wanted to get away that bad. All right, guys, it's time for me to get out of here, but before I go, I want to talk a little bit about these sinkers. Now, I'm not big on products, guys. You know, I'm not. I don't, I don't put a lot of stock in specific things. You know, I didn't catch fish today because of these sinkers. I didn't catch fish because I'm in a Hobie kayak or I have a Ray Marine graph. These things are just tools. That's all they are, but they're tools that help you perform a task a little easier. And the task of catching fish always comes down to the same factors, right? You got to have the right bait at the right depth, at the right speed, on the right structure, at the right time. Those stars always have to align in that moment for you to catch fish. That's true of the fish I caught today, the fish I've caught throughout my life. It's true of the fish that you've caught. That's just how it is. But these sinkers, when you're dragging baits, man, I, you got to have tools, right? You got to have certain pieces of gear. And in my opinion, these are the best tool for dragging baits. These two sinkers that I'm going home with today are the same two I've been using out here all day long. I got snagged one time to the point that I had to go back and get it and get right up above the top of the snag and pop it free. That was the only downtime I had today. The rest of the time, I was fishing. And that's the big difference between these sinkers and a lot of others is other sinkers I've used and I've tried them all, they just don't work out here. They get snagged in these rocks. You know, these sinkers with them being so long and riding through the water like this, when you get these rocky bottoms, which is what I fish mostly, these rocky areas, a normal piece of lead or a smaller sinker, they'll fall down in those rocks and in those crevices and get snagged. And you got to go back and get them and try to pop them free, or you break off and you got to retie. 
that leads to downtime. And when you have downtime, you're not fishing, right? You're not you're not putting giving yourself the opportunity to have all those factors that I mentioned align. These, because they you know they're so long and they ride higher, they don't fall down in those little crevices and get hung. And when you go across a bigger object, a big rock or a log or something, it just hits and pops right up and over. And of course your bait's on a on a leader with a float behind it anyway, so it's elevated anyway. But uh, you know these things, like I said, they're just the best tool for dragging that I've ever found. I love these things. If you're going to drag baits, especially if you're going to do it from a kayak where you know it's difficult to break off heavy line just because it's so hard to get leverage, these right here are what you want. But anyway, my sales pitch there is over. That's all I got. But I had a fun day out here though, man. I caught several fish. I got that one just tank of a blue cat, and I got some other good quality fish too. It's been a, it's been a good morning. I wish to, I, every day I went fishing was like today. I'll sacrifice numbers for quality any day of the week. So I've had a good day. I wish I could stay longer, but it's time for me to go. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.